In this lecture, you'll learn about inline and post-process storage efficiency operations. I'll explain what the default settings are on both AFF and FAS systems and how they differ. And I'll also explain the various caveats about what can be configured where. Deduplication and compression can both run both post-process and inline. Compaction, on the other hand, is an inline-only operation. And the difference between post-process and inline, inline operations run before being written to disk, post-process run after. So looking at the effects that whether you're using inline and or post-process can have. Well, inline operations can reduce writes to disk, prolonging the life of SSDs. Because you're squeezing the data in a smaller amount of physical space, that's less writes going to SSDs, which does give you a longer life on them. They also increase parallelism because they are multiprocessor capable. They take place while data is still in memory before they've been written to disk, so they're best suited to faster controllers basically meaning the AFF. Inline operations can increase latency when using HDDs. So you can enable inline operations on fast systems, but it's generally not a good idea. If you are thinking of doing it, it's important that you do performance testing on there. So storage efficiency is great because it means you can fit the same data into less physical space, so you get cost savings there, but you need to be careful that it's not going to cause performance degradation. Not such a likely problem on AFF systems, which are very fast, but something that you do need to test on fast systems before you enable it. So because of this, inline storage efficiency is enabled by default on AFF systems because they can handle it. It's not enabled by default on fast systems. You should test it there first. Post-process deduplication can be enabled on a volume before, sorry, must be enabled on a volume before you can enable post-process compression. So you'll see this when you go to enable it in the GUI that you have to tick the checkbox for post-process deduplication before you can tick the checkbox for post-process compression. And actually, when you configure it at the command line as well, the first thing that you do is enable post-process deduplication, then you can then enable the other storage efficiency features. And another caveat, storage efficiency is not supported on a volume which has been configured as semi-thick provisioned with the space SLO semi-thick option. If you remember that from the earlier lecture, that is how we get the overwrite guarantee for our LUNs. And one of the requirements for that was that deduplication and compression is turned off. Okay, so let's look at deduplication, compression, and compaction in a little more detail, starting with deduplication. Deduplication can be enabled at the volume level in FAS systems. In AFF systems, it can be enabled at the volume level and also at the aggregate level as well. The volumes in an aggregate must all be thin provisioned for aggregate level inline deduplication to be enabled on your AFF systems. Inline deduplication is enabled by default on AFF systems because they're fast. It's not supported by default on FAS systems except for flash pool aggregates. You can turn it on on your FAS systems as well, but you need to do that at the command line. Post-process deduplication can be run on all systems, including the FAS as well. Okay, looking at compression. FAS systems support both inline and post-process compression. If you enable both, then you must enable post-process compression on the volume before enabling inline compression. Only inline, not post-process compression, is supported on AFF systems. It is enabled by default. But if you disable it and then want to turn it back on again, you need to enable post-process compression first, but then that will be skipped. So you know how I just said that post-process compression is not supported on AFF? 
it's just a funny thing because of the way that the operating system works and because this is how it works on FAS that you have to turn on post-process compression first. It's the same on the AFF, so turn on post-process compression first, but that will actually just be skipped. It won't actually be run. It's only the inline compression that will be run. And finally, compaction. Compaction is an inline only operation. We don't have post-process for that. It occurs during the consistency point after inline compression and deduplication. So just as the data is about to be written to the disk. Compaction runs at the volume level and volumes must be thin provisioned for compaction to be enabled. Compaction is enabled by default on AFF. You can also enable it on FAS systems. Okay, so let's look at those defaults now. So starting with the AFF and the default inline operations. First thing that happens is inline zero block deduplication. So basically just empty blocks will be deduplicated. Next up, it's inline adaptive compression. If you remember when we covered compression earlier, we've got adaptive and secondary compression. Adaptive is better suited for AFF systems. So that is the default here. Next up, we have inline deduplication. First off, duplicates within a volume will be deduplicated, then duplicates within an aggregate if not found within a volume. And finally, we have inline data compaction and inline deduplicated blocks are not compacted. So those are all the operations and that is the order that they are processed in as well. So those are the default inline operations. So you can see that deduplication, compression and compaction are all enabled inline by default on the AFF. Post-process deduplication is also enabled by default on AFF systems as well. The operation is triggered automatically when a large enough percentage of a change log has been populated. So since the last time that the background deduplication had run, when there is by default a new 20% of data being written to that volume, then the, or the aggregate, then the post-process background deduplication will run again. On the AFF, only inline, not post-process compression is supported and compaction is an inline operation. So the only post-process operation that happens in the AFF is the deduplication and that happens by default. Next up, looking at the defaults on the FAS, very simple, deduplication, compression and compaction are disabled by default on FAS systems because as I was saying earlier, you want to check the impact they'll have on performance before you run them. Volume level deduplication, compression and compaction can all be enabled on FAS. Aggregate level deduplication is only available on AFF systems. Post-process deduplication can be enabled on all volumes and inline deduplication is not supported by default, but you can turn it on. Both post-process and inline compression can be enabled and data compaction is an inline operation which can be enabled. Okay, so let's have a look at how everything works for storage efficiency in a bit more detail. You can run post-process deduplication and data compression operations by specifying a threshold percentage which waits for new data to exceed the specified percentage. The default value is 20%. This is the default that happens in the AFF systems. So after 20% new data is written to the volume, since the last operation, it will run again. You can also enable that on the FAS systems as well. The other way that you can run your scans is at a scheduled time. You can also set a maximum time period for it to run in as well. And finally, you can run the operations manually on demand for your deduplication and compression. Post-process compression uses the same schedule as deduplication. This is why you have to enable deduplication first before you can turn on the compression. When both are enabled, the compression runs first followed by deduplication. And finally, last thing to tell you is that storage efficiency applies to new data after it is enabled. This is important. 
So if you've got an existing volume which has already got data in there and you didn't turn on storage efficiency when you first created the volume, you turn it on later, the existing data that is already there is not going to be deduplicated and compressed by default. However, you can manually scan that existing data which is in the volume. Storage efficiency must be enabled to perform a manual scan. Thanks for watching. If you want to get hands-on practice with NetApp Storage for free on your laptop, then you can download my free ebook, which you can see above my head right now. Also check out my NetApp Storage Complete course, which will teach you everything you could possibly want to know about ONTAP. Thanks.